I recently got a new sketchbook to, you know, draw things, but there's always a constant battle when it comes to me coming up with ideas to draw. Just can't seem to get them, man. Just blank. I need waffles. Problem is we don't have any sort of approach when it comes to, you know, using our sketchbook. And that leads us to doing things one way, which leads to boredom, and that leads to having no ideas. So you know what I did with my previous sketchbook? I wrote on 10 simple ways to go about using my sketchbook when I didn't have any ideas to draw. And here are they. Number one, draw from life or photographs. Drawing from life is one of the best ways to improve your drawing skills. I know, I used to hate that thing, but trust me, it's actually a lot useful than you think. Because every style of art that you see, like cartoons and animes and all those other things are just personal interpretation of life itself. So instead of learning from those things, you can go to the very source and come up with something new on your own. And if you can draw from life on a consistent basis, just draw from photographs, it totally works fine. Number two, make sketchy notes and brainstorms. Most people use their sketchbook like a masterpiece book, like every damn page needs to be a masterpiece or else the world will fall apart. I think it's a debilitating way to use the sketchbook, to be honest. I use mine to not only make drawings, but also to make random notes of ideas and to brainstorm things. And to make these things fun, I try to make my notes a bit sketchy. You know, making visual notes and brainstorms with little doodles here and there instead of just using words. Cause man oh man, picture is worth a thousand words. Number three, do mindless scribbles. Sometimes I just don't draw anything and make random scribbles. Yeah, I just make random scribbles in my sketchbook. And trust me, man, a lot of it is weird. But just filling a page of mindless doodles in a sketchbook is like a good way to fill your page and practice some drawing. And at the same time, I gotta say, it's very therapeutic. Yeah, like I don't even go for therapy anymore. My therapist hates me, but yeah, I don't go for therapy. Number four, test your ideas. You know your sketchbook is like a research and development department for your brain. This is actually the place where you go crazy and test all the things that comes to your head. It's like a lab to experiment new ideas and see if they work. Most of my illustrations first start in my sketchbook. It starts as an idea where I scribble them out and figure out a way to execute them before me actually going through with it. Number five, copy other artists. Whoa, 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 wait. You're just telling me to copy other artists? That is not cool, man, that is not cool. Copying is wrong. Well, my friend, let me tell you something. If you are copying other artists to pass their work as your own, then no, don't copy. Copying in that case is wrong. But if you are copying to learn from them and to improve your skills as an artist, then it's completely a-okay. Because that is one of the biggest ways artists learn. It's by copying their masters and mentors and teachers and inspirations. Even old masters like Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo and Raphael all copied from their masters to learn their art. So copy to learn and that is completely okay. Numero six, try new mediums. If you are used to one medium of art, try another one. Test things out and play with it because you may discover something new and unexpected that will completely change your art and probably even evolve it into a Pokemon. Pikachu. Just kidding, try something new, try a new medium. Number seven, stick stuff. Yeah, in your sketchbook. This is fairly new to me, but I gotta say, it's pretty damn fun. You can make your own cut out pop-up stickers and just stick them in your sketchbook and make it look cool. Or you can stick some usual stickers like the rest of the humans do on this planet. And if you're out of stickers, in any case, you can just head to my shop and buy a sticker pack which has totally cool, cool, cool stickers and stick them in your sketchbook, man, because my stickers are pretty damn cool. Next thing, enough with the plug. Number eight, draw frames from films. This is something that I've recently discovered, grabbing stills of some of my favorite shots from a film and drawing them in my sketchbook. As fun and easy as it sounds is actually a lot complicated. But if you do this exercise, you'll learn a lot more about colors and compositions. And that, my friend, is totally cool. And also, this makes your sketchbook look really, really nice. 
Number nine, pick an animal and draw that in your style. Yes, again, like it sounds, just pick an animal, pick a random animal and draw it in multiple different angles and cute faces and stuff and put that in your own style and just put it on Instagram and get 3000 likes or something. Cause that's totally a cool way to fill your sketchbook, man. Trust me, it is. Number 10, do finished drawings. This is a personal advice for me because I have problem finishing drawings in my sketchbook or at least I used to. I've gotten a lot better at it, but still it needs work. Your sketchbook can be used as a practice ground to learn to finish something because finishing something is probably one of the hardest parts for most artists including me and practicing that act of finishing something in a minuscule level allows you to take that skill and use that on other big projects that you have shoved under the rug. And those are the 10 ways you can use to fill up your sketchbook. Now stop watching this video and go draw something. Alright? Cool. Bye bye. The beat. Hey, thank you for watching once again. Before you leave, I want to talk about the people who made this video possible and that, my friends, is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform that has tons of classes and tutorials on art, drawing, making stuff, creativity, crafts, doodling, inking, you know, all kinds of creative stuff and along with other non-artsy topics. And what they're doing is they're offering two months free subscription to all of you lovely people. So if you want to get access to all their premium classes, you can click the link down below in the description and go join them. So that's it. That's it. Thank you for those people who are keeping the lights up and making these videos possible.